my name is uh, Mr. Lush. For those of you who don't know me, uh, those of you who are are new, we welcome you. Those of you that are returning, it's great to see your faces even on a camera. Uh, you know, I haven't had the chance to, uh, you know, meet a lot of you guys and see a lot of you guys with everything that's going on. Um, but if you look on the first page, there is, uh, you know, all the information you'll need as far as for myself, my email address, you can always contact me via email. And also our Twitter is down there as well, at Lackey Sports, where um, I put out a lot of our information. Shut up, man, listen to this. Guys, once again, if you could, uh, if you'd be able to mute. I, I gotta go downstairs. Be back. Guys, I'm going to pop out of this real quick for some reason. I don't know if it's due to our participants here, but it's freezing for a second. I'm just going to log back in to, sh to share that once again. Uh, one of the things, you know, if, if you're new to Lackey here, um, you know, one of the things you're going to know about me and get to to learn about me is, is my passion. I'm really passionate about this school and about the kids in the school. Uh, once again, if you, if you could please mute your computer if you haven't got a chance to for, uh, for some reason, I'm, 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 I'm unable to do that. Hey, Jesus. Hey, Jesus. Everything is locking up here. I apologize if it's flipping through, guys. I'm having a little bit of a network connection here in my office. I'm not sure why. Um, but again, you, you'll see our, our three main forms of communication there. Our athletics website, uh, www.lackeyathletics.com. Our Twitter, at Lackey Sports. And then we also have a Facebook. Uh, coach Jiraco, our, our boy soccer coach, does a great job of, of helping with, with that stuff. So we can we usually try to connect it to all three things uh, to try and get that information out to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're just hopping in, my name is John Lush. This is my second year as the athletic director here at Lackey, uh, my 16th year in the building. Um, Mrs. Kathy Pro is our principal. And our vice principal over top of athletics is Mr. Russell. He's with us tonight. He's going to kind of man the chat for me. He's going to answer any questions that you might post while I present. And then I will come back and, you know, answer anything that uh, he may not know the answer to, you know, at the end. Or you can always email me as well. But again, we, I welcome you. I know it's been a crazy year uh, there. You know, to be honest, this situation is extremely fluid. And one thing you have to understand is you got to have the ability to adapt because, while we're rolling out this plan in the county tonight at all seven high schools, this could change at any day. Uh, it really could. So if you're looking at the athletics overview as it stands right now, uh, we are going to basically break our four seasons into four week cycles of uh, conditioning, workouts, and practice. And the idea behind that is, as opposed to just opening up them all at once, we didn't want our multiple sport athletes to have to choose which sport they were going to go to. Um, so we're going to open with the spring, as you see, on October 5th, Monday, October 5th, and we're going to run that until the end of October, uh, October 31st. Uh, that will be baseball, softball, boys lacrosse, girls lacrosse, tennis, track and field. And we're not going to start unified yet, uh, but when we get to our spring sports, you know, um, at the end of the year, we will offer that to you. You can see uh, fall sports and winter sports are laid out there for you as well. Um, you know, fall sports won't start till November and winter sports won't start to January. The, I, the thought process is that in the spring, we'll still have a chance to get outside. Uh, in the fall, you know, hopefully by that point, we'll have some kids back in the building. That's our goal. And then we would also be able to, to work out inside as well. And then our winter sports would have the four weeks leading up to the season as they prepare for their season. Um, we're going to have no more than three sessions per week and 90 minute sessions. If we do not have a school day, all right, we won't have workouts. So what that means if, you know, on election day, you know, if kids wouldn't traditionally be in the building, we will not have workouts. 
Um, they can be any time from, from Monday to Friday, start after four o'clock. All right, these are just our general procedures for registering for all sports. If you are a returner, this hasn't changed. If you are uh, an incoming freshman or somebody that's new to the building, this would be some information that's important for you. You know, everybody has to register online. You know, um, I have the, the link up there for you. And the three items you'll need, you'll need a physical, which is valid for one year. You're gonna have to sign a COVID-19 waiver and that'll be online as well. And then you'll have to take an impact test you know, which is a, a concussion test. In the event you've already taken an impact test at some point during your high school career, you will not have to take that again. That's only a, a one-time exam. Um, as far as the physical, physical is concerned, if you got a physical on September 25th, you know, you will be good until September 25th of the following school year. All right, um, and I'll show you our website at the end. Um, you know, and, and I'll kind of walk you through that, but all this information is also available on the website under the tab that's labeled uh, more. Once you go to that tab, you will come across, this is the page that will kind of look, uh, this is what it'll look like for you. Um, you're going to click to register on that activity um, and it'll kind of walk you through the next spot, the next stuff. If you are creating an account, all right, you're going to create that family account. If you are a returner, you're gonna to go to that family account login. If you forgot your email, or your password, just shoot me an email. I can reset everything for you, so that's not a problem. You just have to let me know. You know, you do have the ability to reset it on your own, but I know sometimes you've forgotten your login, or your password, and it gets confusing. So, you know, just send me an email, I'll walk, and I'll take care of that for you. Uh, again, impact testing, I kind of already talked about this. Um, the, what the main point about when you take the impact test on the computer, which takes about 20 to 30 minutes, give or take, um, you want to make sure you're taking it on a computer, not on your phone. If you, if you take it on a phone, it will not allow you to submit it. So you'll go through the entire process and won't be able to submit. All right. So, you know, make sure you're going to do that on a computer, on a tablet, you know, an iPad, something along those lines. All right, here's our off-season workout protocols. You know, this is kind of the, the uh, what's really important. Um, you, know, uh, you know, I think we have 14 different protocols right now as it stands. Um, you know, again, that can change, you know, but right now all workouts will adhere to the social distancing guidelines according to Governor Hogan, Dr. Hill, and CCS, CCPS policy. So what that means is, you know, whatever, school in this county is holding workouts, you know, we're going to do it the same way. All workouts are going to be voluntary, all right? You do not have to come. If you are a parent or a guardian that does not feel comfortable, you know, with everything that's going on in the world, you know, th it, it, is, it is not mandatory. It will not help be held against your child, you know, whenever tryouts come. So, for instance, you know, I, I saw uh, one of my former softball players on here, Morgan Berry. If Morgan were, you know, didn't feel comfortable coming to the softball workouts, then when we have trials for softball, that does not mean that she's not going to make the team because of that. Um, so, again, they're voluntary and no pressure whatsoever. It's so whatever you're comfortable with. Registrations must be turned in 24 hours prior to the workout. So, again, I'll use Morgan as an example. If Morgan turns in her paperwork on Sunday at, you know, one o'clock in the afternoon on October 4th, she, I would be able to clear her for the 5th. All right. But if she were to turn it in on the morning of the 5th, she's not going to be eligible to participate in those workouts until until the following day. Because I'm going to need 24 hours to go through and make sure we have everything in order. Because it's not like in the past where you could just kind of you know, show up as long as you've turned in your stuff. We have to make sure everything's, you know, organized for, you know, all the different protocols we have in place. All student athletes and coaches must wear a mask when they arrive and leave on campus. That is a non-negotiable. Uh, you know, they, not everybody will, will wear a mask during the physical activity, uh, but as far as when they come and when they leave, we're going to need to do that. Uh, so all student athletes are also going to be asked to bring their own water and sports-specific equipment. They don't have water you know uh i do reserve the right to send them home because we're not going to be able to provide them water here but we want to make sure we're uh you know everybody's safe uh, 
Go to the next slide, guys. It looks like, again, we've got a little lag. And all of this information is going to be available on our website. Anything I go over tonight, as well as our our uh, our PowerPoint. Some of you guys may have already gone through the PowerPoint. Um, when they arrive, and again, if you worked out in the summer with me and with our coaching staffs, uh, you've already gone through this. Everybody's going to check in at the table with me that's located in the front gate to the stadium. I'll be there every single night. So I will check you in uh, to make sure you're on the list. We. We want to do that so that uh, nobody gets on campus to work out that hasn't been cleared. You know, all workouts are going to be closed to the general public. Uh, once again, uh, if, if you haven't muted yourself, please do so. I appreciate it. Um, each team is going to be assigned a specific area. All right. And they're, you know, we're really trying to discourage people from socializing with other teams. We, we, we understand everybody comes up and everybody would love to see each other. But we, we have our contract or our, our contact tracing in place, which I'm going to go over here in a few minutes. And we want to make sure that uh, our, our players are with their assigned cohort um, so that we can trace. If we have any issues with COVID, we can trace it back to whichever cohort the, kid, the kids were in. Rest rooms will be available outside the stadium. Um, you know, we're not going to be able to go inside at this time at all. So everybody's going to use those restrooms and we'll practice social distancing habits as well during that time period. Um, participation in these workouts, again, does not guarantee that you will make the team when we hold trials. So just like I used the example of Morgan, um, if you know I used the another example of, oh. of Basanga, all right, uh, if, if he's at every single uh, football workout, when we have football workouts, that does not mean that he's going to have more playing time or less playing time than than somebody else who, who was there or wasn't there. You know, each of those decisions is made by the individual coach, and it will not impact whether they make or do not make the team. Um, if there is bad weather in the forecast, all right, I will make, I will cancel uh, via the website, the twi Twitter, and Facebook. Hopefully we'll have a chance where our head coaches will also send an email to you guys, whether that's through Synergy or through their, their uh, email distribution list that they've created. Um, but again, we'll, we'll pump that information out by one o'clock. If you haven't heard anything by one o'clock, you know, we are, we are on. Um, if we have to go inside, a plan has been developed according to the social distancing guidelines. You know, so, you know, different cohorts of kids and coaches will be assigned different rooms. But, you know, we are going to avoid that at all costs where, you know, until we're we actually have kids in the building, we're going to do our best to not come in this building at all. But again, if there's a pop up storm that happens, you know, the storm happens to shift, you know, we will definitely do that. In the event your son or daughter has driven to the school for workouts, they will not have to come in with that cohort. They can just get in their car and head home. Um, if your son or daughter is not feeling well, please don't send them to workouts. You know, I've, I've uploaded a pre-screening questionnaire to help you um, on our website in the event you have any questions or concerns about that. But, it, you know, the general idea would be that if they have any type of symptoms, however minor they might be, you want to keep them home. You know, uh, listen, I understand I grew up in a time period where you know, I, you know, I, I, I hate missing school. I hate missing practice, you know, but we are all in this together. And if if a few of us, you know, have some symptoms and we come up and and, and it, it spirals out of control, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we're, we're going to end up having to shut this thing down. And I know you guys have been itching to get back out in this practice field, just like my coaches have and just like I have. You know, so we want to make sure safety is the most important part of this entire thing. Um, and again, you can always reach out to me if you have any questions or concerns. As far as the contract uh, contact tracing forms are concerned, you know, basically it's just going to be, you know, the kids are going to be divided into cohorts. Um, I will keep track of these sheets. So my head coaches are going to give them to me at the end of every night. They'll take them as they come in. After I check the kids in, I'll give them the form. They'll give it back to me on the way out. So we'll check them in and check them out when they get picked up. Um, you know, and 
I will have that on file again, once again, in the event we have any kind of issue whatsoever. Um, I do think, just wanna make sure. All right, um, if an athlete tests positive for COVID-19, uh, we are to report that uh, to our central office. And then our and but when I say we, I mean myself uh, and, and my administrative uh, staff, you know, um, we will report that to the Charles County Health Department, all right? And they are going to kind of tell us what the next steps are. Um, so, you know, I don't have a ton of information about that. Again, my role is to simply report that up the chain and then central office and the health department will handle what the next steps are. Um, so we are hopeful that that's not going to happen. But if it does, you know, we will just, you know, await word from them and then we will function accordingly. However, they whatever they tell us to do, if they tell us that we are closed down for X amount of days, you know, that's what we will do. And then finally, you know, all student athletes will need to be picked up no later than 615. So, our, you know, we're asking you to come up as close to four as possible. I'll check everybody in from four to 430. And then our teams will be able to practice from 430 to six with that 90 minute session. Um, what I've done, you know, uh, you can see our spring sports and those are our head coaches. If you're interested in a play in a spring sport, I'd encourage you to reach out to them. Uh, if you have any questions, um, they can answer them for you. Again, I'm always available to answer any questions as well. Again, you can see that's from Monday, October 5th uh, to Friday, October 31st. Once again, this PowerPoint is, is going to be on our website. So, you know, if you ha haven't had a chance to, to write these coaches' names down, I'd encourage you guys and girls just to come out, even if you've never played the sport. This is a great opportunity to come out. And if you feel comfortable Are they talk? <laughs> to, you know, get some fresh air and, and get a workout in and, and see if any of these programs are, are, are for you. This is a great opportunity because these, you know, basketball and football, for instance, two of our more popular sports won't be going on during that time. So you don't have to feel like you're, you know, going to boys lacrosse practice in lieu of basketball practice. You know, we're all going to have four week stints. <laughs> Uh, spring sport, sports workouts will begin on Monday, October 5th. Again, tennis will be going Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday from 4 to 5.15. Uh, track is at the moment just Monday, 4 to 6. Um, we could we could change that based on our numbers. You know, we may add a few days in there. We're just you know, we're going to see what our, our sign-up is like. Girls lacrosse will be Monday and Wednesday, 4 to 6. Boys lacrosse will be Tuesday and Thursday, 4 to 6. Softball at the moment is just Wednesday, four to six, and baseball is uh, to be determined. I encourage you to reach out to Coach McGlenn. I know we've had probably eight or nine kids already sign up for baseball, a lot of which are returners. So I know Coach McGlenn's been in touch with the families, and he will continue to do that. You know, as uh, our registrations pick up, our fall sports. There's our head coaches: uh, football, cheer, boys soccer, girls soccer, and volleyball. On this front page again, this. Uh, tentatively is from Monday, November 2nd um, uh, to Friday in December. All right. And, you know, our last three sports for the fall there, cross country, field hockey and golf. And then finally, our winter sports, which will be the four weeks prior to, to when they begin on February 4th. Uh, girls and boys basketball, swimming, wrestling and cheerleading. Right. For some reason right now, if you are a swimmer, there is an issue with the registration. That does not mean that we are not having a swimming season. We are uh, planning to do so. Um, but at the moment, the registration is locked for some reason. I'm hoping to get that figured out through Smack Athletics and our, our online site, uh, hopefully by sometime tomorrow. You can always email me if you have any questions. Uh, also, we have a ninth period currently where we've been rolling out some of the administration responsibilities and, you know, some some information from our counseling department. You know, that is going to end here in the near future. And we are going to offer all of our clubs and activities an opportunity to meet with their students. So we'll be doing virtual activities, team building, academic intervention, et cetera. Um, it could be 
that's always going to be Tuesday and Friday from 1 to 2.30. If your child is a multiple sport athlete or in the SGA or the FCA or the Honor Society, you know, we will do our best to work around all that. We understand, you know, a ton of our kids are in a ton of different activities. That's what's great about Lackey. So, you know, we'll work together. You know, most of the time the sessions aren't going to be 1 to 2.30. We may run FCA from 1 to 1.45 and then 1.45 to 2.30 girls soccer. You know, that's just as an example. Um, I want to put our accounts up there one more time. You know, these are our, our important accounts, our Lackey Athletics website. Again, you know, um, that stays extremely current as well as our Twitter and our Facebook. Um, so anytime there's any kind of change, we can go ahead and put that out there. Um, at this time, guys, I'm going to share my screen for our website. So you get a chance. I want to show you just so you can see it. And I talked a little bit about this before, but when you come onto our website, um, if you click over this uh, tab that says more, uh, you'll notice we have you know some information about myself, about our Hall of Fame. Um, I have to update that. I'll be updating the Booster Club as well once we find out um, exactly what's going on with our sports and whether or not we're going to be able to have people in attendance. Um, you'll see information about our coaches, whether – they are our current coaches or people who want to become coaches. Um, there's some information for parents and guardians, student athletes. Here is all our information for our online registration. Um, anything for our NCAA Clearinghouse. I actually just updated this on Friday because the Clearinghouse uh, gave us a, some new eligibility standards. And this one-minute recruiting webinar is actually really informative. I would recommend that you hop on there if you are a student athlete that's interested in playing in college. You can also calculate your core courses on the GPA. Um, and then finally, the, the, the most recent update that I did was the COVID-19 athletics in 2020, uh, 2021. Again, I, I, I ask you to remain patient because this changes by the day. Um, you know, uh, as, you, as you heard last week, Governor Hogan has allowed us to play fall sports beginning October 7th, uh, with the first game starting October 27th. However, as a county, we have not made a decision on that yet. So at, we would have to opt into playing that, that season on October 7th. If we choose not to opt in, that would mean we would still play in the spring. Um, and that competition schedule is down here, you'll see. Um, that's you know what the MPSSAA released um, about a month and a half ago. So again, you know, I understand Governor Hogan said that, and there, I think there was a little bit of miscommunication on the news. Um, but as of right now, we are slated to just start our spring workouts. We are not slated to start fall sports. Again, that could change. Um, you'll notice after this video that I've recorded, I'll load this for you guys up here. Um, our PowerPoint is here. If you have any, um, you, you need to return to it for emails or information. Uh, I try to type up a list of frequently asked questions, questions that I thought might come across for you guys, so you can just reference that handout. These are all our protocols. Again, those 14 protocols that were listed in the PowerPoint are also listed here. Here's a pre-screening questionnaire. So if, if you know you want to see your son or daughter is, is showing some symptoms, this is the most up-to-date pre-screening from the Charles County Health Department. I will update that as they update it. They usually update it, you know, pretty much about every two weeks. So I'll probably put a new document up there. Um, our conditioning practice schedule, which I went over, and then uh, finally the the competition that season as it now stands, which won't be until you know 2021, February 4th. Right now, I believe is when we're start, we're slated to start winter, um, but again that could change. All right, I'm gonna take a look in the chat real quick. I'm sure Mr. Russell's been doing a great job answering those questions. I'm gonna look just to see if he texted me anything as well.
to see if there is anything. And again, guys, I, I'm very uh, accessible via email. You know, um, that's probably the, the best way you can you can call me as well. It's not a problem if you're more of a phone person. Um, but, you know, I, I try to answer my email, whether it's through Synergy or, or just my CCBOE very often, um, especially if you have any issues uploading your uploading your information. The biggest thing when we leave this meeting would be to try to register your child so that way he or she is ready to go when, when workouts start, even if you're not comfortable with workouts right now. Okay. You know, you, okay. could, you could register them. That way, you know, they're ready to go whenever you do feel comfortable. Um, outside of that, if, if, if it says pending on your registration, that means I haven't cleared you yet. Uh, probably means you might be missing the impact test or you just need to update your physical. Those are usually the two, two, thi two things that um, give us the, the biggest headache as far as not getting cleared. Uh, but it looks like Mr. Russell kind of answered everything from what I can see. So, you know, I'm going to log off. I don't want to take a ton of your time. But again, please feel free to reach out to me, even if you want to do so as soon as this meeting ends. If you want to hit me up on the phone or via email, that is fine. And most importantly, stay safe. And I can't wait to see you and your kids in the near future. Take care. Appreciate your attendance.